Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're still with you on Now TV International and our continued uh, coverage of the latest uh, events. And of course, today, the Egyptian president, Abdel Fattah Sisi, uh, said as he visited the Suez Canal and toured the canal that the incident of the ever given blocking of the Suez Canal has reaffirmed the importance of the canal for the whole world. And this was at the start of his visit to the Maritime Training and Simulation Center of the Suez Canal uh, Authority, where the president spoke. Uh, in Ismailia, less than one day after Egypt succeeded in refloating the mega container ship that had blocked the canal for six days. Now we are delighted to be joined in the studio this afternoon by our guest, Dr. Ahmed Usama Abu Duma, member of the Egyptian Council of Foreign Affairs. Dr. Ahmed, thank you so much for coming in this afternoon. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you so much, Doctor. Now, first and foremost, how do you see the importance of President Abdel Fattah Sisi's visit today, just a day after the, plo the blockage was removed to the Suez Canal? Actually, it's uh, about a uh, few hours yes, after the even. block. Yes. Um, it's highly appreciated. Uh, the president uh, uh, shows the world today that uh, we are responsible, and he is personally with the Egyptian team and the authorities in, in the Suez Canal. Mm. Um, is there, so it's safe to tell many messages by his, his presence. Mm that after managing the crisis mm. the, uh, we faced uh, for uh, uh, six days, mm. I can name them mm. uh, the, a six-day uh, six war. Mm. Um, so uh, the presence of the president is to send, to send a message to the world that Egypt is safe, mm. we are responsible and uh, accountable mm. for one of the main um, water roads uh, in the world mm -hmm. for the e economic trading, mm -hmm. world trading as 12% of the uh, transportation through the sea is passing through the uh, Suez Canal. Mm -hmm. So the presence of the president is also giving to our Egyptian team and Egyptian workers yes. and the Egyptian society mm. uh, proudly uh, that they are appreciated for what they did in a very short time yes. regarding the huge, um, um, it's the first time to be uh, blocked by this way mm. and in an environment with a climate change so and with this huge um, um, weight of this ship mm -hmm. and w still working and with the Egyptian insisting mm. to solve the problem without any hurt or loss mm. for the uh, shipment mm -hmm. for the ch uh, for the, um, uh, the the souls and for the uh, the, 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 the Egyptian uh, marine. Mm -hmm. So it was really a highly successful uh, and appreciated uh, uh, Egyptian uh, carriage mm -hmm. and uh, work with uh, a very uh, high responsibility. Indeed. Right, so now the president hailed and congratulated the Egyptians on the professional way with which they handled the issue, uh, contrary to lots of international media uh, speculation that this will take three weeks, this will take a month, this will take three months, uh, and what will this cost the world economy, what will this cost uh, world trade, uh, there was fluctuation in the oil prices, etc. Lots of speculation really, yeah. and in just six days uh, they managed to resolve all the speculation. How important do you see the issue of timing? How do you see the Suez Canal Authority dealing uh, with the situation day? and night, uh, ensuring that this uh, will be resolved in the shortest uh, space of time possible? Uh, actually, as, as I said, mm -hmm. that uh, the Egyptian people uh, with the challenges and uh, with the hard time and mm -hmm. exercises usually show up the how the carriage and the responsibility mm -hmm. of the Egyptian authorities Egyptian workers, mm. Egyptian people with scientific mm. and insisting with the um, Navy mm. uh, Army yeah. assistance. Um, since 
the second day, once since the couple of days, they started to show up on the in the media everywhere that the loss for the Suez Canal for Egypt mm. itself mm. is billions mm. of dollars yes. because it's blocked the Suez Canal mm. income. That's for Egypt. Mm. For the other countries and the United States started to, to talk about the uh, prices of uh, the transport uh, of oil and it could be there are shortage and what we're going to do and what's we're going to happen. Showing really the influence of the canal on the, the world trade. Sure, mm. surely the, the influence was very um, uh, like on air mm. show. Pronounced, of, yes. Uh, and yes. A crisis mm. and the to solve it mm. in this very accountable and mm. reasonable mm. and short time mm. by this professionalism mm. without any kind of hurting even the shipment mm. or trying to remove it remove or uh, yes unload it uh, unload it or to and we're talking about 18,000 containers yes, that was going to take it, days it, to yeah, unload yeah 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 mm. and, uh, and, uh, and 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 totally blocked mm. Uh, the waterway. The waterway. Yes. So uh, it was with mm. really um, appreciated mm. scientific mm. evaluation uh, researches about the changes mm. with the winds mm. and with mm. the tides and extensions. So um, very really well planned out. we are very proud Indeed. of uh, our uh, Egyptian Indeed. authorities and team and to also thankful to our president to to be there mm. today after solving the problem yes uh, further supporting them it, really it sent mm. it sent it sends mm. a message mm. to the egyptians that he is backing mm. his team mm. uh, the presence of the pre president there to the world mm. that egypt is responsible mm. the authorities of the canal managed the situation professionally mm. And he is following, was following up till the last moment, mm. and immediately after it started to go on, mm. and the uh, they're dealing with the backlog as well. They even so said it will only take about three and a half days for over 300 ships that were delayed to pass through, yeah. which is again a great uh, short uh, period of time. And the way that they handled uh, the ships that were stuck. Let's talk a bit about some of the ships. Ships that had live livestock, they send uh, veterinarians, they send food yeah. uh, for the animals, fodder, etc. Um, there was awareness on the ground, even for the ships that were blocked uh, behind the one that was blocking the waterway, what they needed, and they dealt with them uh, very professionally uh, making sure none of the cargo, whether it was live animals or livestock, was harmed during this period. Yes, and they handled it mm. very well. Mm. And after the blockage, uh, uh, just uh, managed mm. uh, around 100 chip mm. started to flu uh, in 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 few uh, hours. Mm -hmm. After 15 minutes, mm -hmm. they managed the situation. They started to go on. Yes. So it was really planned, mm. and as uh, the chairman of uh, the, the Suez Canal mentioned mm. today uh, to the president, mm. that they were two days ago um, uh, planned the schedule of, mm. uh, of how to will manage the passing mm. of the ships. The, the ships. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really thanks God mm. and thanks to the people. Indeed. Right. Today, uh, the president tackled several points. He had a, a long uh, press conference where he answered lots of questions by the international media present. Um, he spoke about the efforts uh, in several fields of development in Egypt. He spoke about the importance of the canal, of the port cities, how they will become an economic hub, an economic zone for the whole world to invest in. Uh, he also spoke about other uh, efforts to further increase investments in several fields, including agricultural reform, uh, um, he said a 1.5 million fedan of agricultural land is to be uh, planted and reformed and restructured all in the development, sustainable development agenda of Egypt and the efforts to further e the Egyptian economy. How do you see the president's uh, statements today and the unveiling of the new projects? Actually, the president, uh, as usual, he's uh, mentioning tangible achievements mm -hmm. is when, once he's managed uh, mention, mentioning a, a, a point of 
of view or perspective for development in Egypt. Mm. We trust his capability mm. and the, the, the team is working on the mm. sustainable develop, development and the economy and it's, it's, it's crucial mm. this to, be, to have industrial zones with the ports of Egypt. Mm -hmm. We, are, we have a unique uh, position with the Middle East and mm -hmm. Africa, Europe and, mm -hmm. and the, the Mediterranean, mm -hmm. uh, the Red Sea, mm -hmm. uh, we have, and with the Gulf area, we have this development for 1.5 million uh, fed and the agricultural development mm -hmm. is very important. So Indeed. it's one of the very uh, successful business for Egypt. Mm -hmm. Um, for feeding our uh, country and also in exporting the yes. uh, Egyptian uh, products. Yes, and it was even one of the sectors that wasn't uh, hampered by the COVID-19 crisis. On the contrary, we managed to increase our exports of fruits, uh, especially citrus fruits, etc., during the height of the crisis to lots of European uh, countries during that time. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, Egypt now uh, is uh, our product is uh, dim, uh, is uh, we have demands for mm. the Egyptian mm. uh, products and uh, this is uh, one of the blessings that we have in Egypt that uh, during uh, the corona uh, pandemic mm. and it's, it affected everywhere mm. in the world mm. we lost a lot of people mm. we everywhere mm. um, we have challenges in Egypt yes with in in we are confronting many challenges mm -hmm. in the same time mm -hmm. but as we uh, historically Egypt is and mm. the Egyptians are capable and working hard yes. in the crisis and proving time by time mm. and during the history till now mm. that the Egyptians people you can trust them yes you can count on them mm. We have pillars mm. in all uh, fields. fields. Absolutely, we can work. Absolutely, and to do together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, we can do a lot. Indeed, the capable uh, Egyptians. I'd like to thank you very, very much, uh, Dr. Ahmed uh, Usama Abuduma, member of the Egyptian Council of Foreign Affairs. Thank you so much for coming in this afternoon uh, and for all your insight. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Ladies and gentlemen. It's all the time we have uh, for this hour of coverage here on LTV International. You're in the company of myself, Angie Mehermini. Thanks for watching.